I wanted to show you a way to use the metal inset printable that's in Google Classroom. This is a different way to practice metal inset. It's not tracing the frame and the inset, but practicing the lines that you could make inside the shape. So we would introduce the serpentine line. This is a line that goes up and down, left to right. So we show them how to go up and come down, touch the bottom and curve back up again. When you show it, show the lines very close together. The child, when they begin, may not be able to make the lines this close and that's fine. They're working towards refinement and care of motion. These movements are um, helpful for training the hand strength and also creating the lines that they will be needing when they write letters. So the more careful they become over time, the stronger their hand and the better able they are to control the pencil. After they had done a few shapes and had completed the shape, you might encourage them to um, put a cover on them and staple it to make a booklet. That might be a, something they enjoy doing. It's similar to what they've done at school. Some of the more complex shapes in Google Classroom show two shapes um, on top of each other. And in this case, you use one color for the parts that are only in one shape. So I'm going to use red to just do the serpentine line inside the part of the circle that is not also in the pentagon. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And so you would do that all the way around the shape. And then when you have that all done, you could switch to another color for the pentagon shape and go up and down the serpentine lines until the entire shape has been shaded with serpentine lines.